Hi, Mrs. Kwan. Hi. Thanks for babysitting on such short notice. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Conrad, Sally, remember the rules. No playing ball in the house, no fighting, no answering phone, city morgue. And absolutely no one sets foot in the living room or else. This holiday season. <laughs> Universal Pictures, DreamWorks Pictures, and Imagine Entertainment invite you to the ultimate house party. I remember this is also on the the uh, the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the cartoon version. Yeah. We're recording now. Of the yeah, movie. Great movie. Mike Myers. Awesome actor. Totally in violation of Seventeen of your mother's rules. Okay. Eighteen. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's my mom. Okay. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Again. People, uh, again, like last video, I am sorry. Don't hate us for it. We just thought maybe we should do it. It's a good movie, we think. Yeah, it's better than Cats. Yeah, watch the Cats trailer and y'all find and y'all will <laughs> apologize. And you will apologize for to Mike Myers. Mike Myers in this. Michael Myers. I don't know. We were apologizing to a killer. All yeah, right. wrong. Wrong Mike person. Myers. <laughs> yeah, Mike Myers. The classic book comes to life. Grab a place on the couch, go find a seat, and you're in for a wonderful Dr. Seuss treat. Wow, that did rhyme. <laughs> the Cat in the Hat, who goes by that name, is played by Mike Myers of comedy fame. It starts with two kids on a cold, cold, wet day. Their mom's at work and they have no games to play. Then in, walk then in walks the fun of the f in form of a cat. Who pulls out the last from the brim of his hat? Things get really wild when the cat and his crew, who goes by the names Thing One and Thing Two, take over the house of Comrade and Sally in this fine family film that's right up your alley. All right. Is that it for the description? Yes. All right, and and uh, the critic review says enorm enormously funny. I agree. It is rated PG for earns that rating for mild crude humor and some dull on contras. <laughs> yeah, some people think that it shouldn't be rated PG. It should be rated PG thirteen. Yeah, I kind of see where they're going. It is an hour twenty two minutes, and the cast is Mike Myers as Cat in the Hat. Alec Bowen as Lawrence or Larry, and Spencer can't pronounce that last name. Bristle. Yeah, as Conrad. I never heard that first name before though. Uh, Dakota Fanning. D Dakota Fanning as um, Sally, which you might know from both. Uh, for, I thought she played for, Fern. Yeah, <laughs> off of the 2006 um, Charlotte's Web and um, the voice of Coraline from that 2009 anime film. Kelly Preston, I guess, has their mom. And this is the same producer as the Jim Carrey How to Stole Christmas. Brian Grazer. It's directed by Bull Welch, which did also did the... Uh, so, uh, Seth, which one do you think is better? Don't hate me for this. I think Mike Myers is better, to be honest. A lot more jokes and all that. I like both of them. Here's the disc. Are we now going to show the disc now in our videos? <laughs> Sean Hayes as a Mr. Hummerfoot and the fish. You're fired! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um... So, Seth, what is your thoughts on Mike Myers' Cat in a Hat? It could have been better. Yes, the Cat in a Hat was kind of creepy... For like some viewers, but all not that, like cats. Yeah, not like cats, but 
If you want to sit down one night. I mean, I do a, like the music of that movie. Have a tub of popcorn, some soda. Try to watch this film and have a good time. And just like in Shrek, it also has both Mike Myers and Smash Mouth in it. Which yes. you might also know from Austin Powers, Bohemian Rhapsody. He was a... I didn't like him in Bohemian Rhapsody. To be honest. And your also the song is co-written by the same guy who did South Park Regular Long and Cut. Which also... Uh, ha we also have a movie talk on that. If you go watch it. Yeah, we also have a movie talk on all four Shreks and Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes. And we also, and Alec Bowman was also in the first SpongeBob SquarePants movie as the voice of Dennis. And then Madagascar's Get to Africa as the voice of Makunga. And Rise of the Guardians as North slash Santa Claus. And uh, Boss Baby as the Boss Baby. Yep. So, Seth, any last words? It's getting better all the time. What is your favorite Dr. Seuss movie? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's hard. I'm going with, I, I, I like them all, but if I had to go with one, I'll go with Horton is a Who. Yeah. But, um, but this one's pretty good. Don't hit me for this, y'all. But I kind of like, hate us. I kind of like The Grinch with Jim Carrey better, but I still like this one. Yeah. I quite like The Grinch with Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You did the voice really good. You can, and actually, you can, you can, uh, if I remember, you can get this at Walmart now. We've seen it in a five dollar bin or something. It's the mother of all messes. Yep. So, Seth. And fun fact: this movie actually came out on my same boat birth year. Two thousand and two thousand three. You can see it right there. And right here. Yes. And, uh, Seth, is there anything else you want to mention? Like any other Dr. Seuss films? If y'all want to uh, see the, uh, if you want to see kind of like how we made movie talk, we talk a little bit about, like, uh... We did use a Dr. Seuss movie for example. Yeah. And, um, probably for a Christmas special, we might do The Grinch with Jim Carrey. And uh, the one with Benedict Cumberbatch, or as I like to call him, Doctor Strange. Yeah, but the Lorax was just fine. Yeah. Not really a good film, but really a good film. Yeah, I just thought the really animation good. was awesome, but the songs were just unnecessary. Except for one. Yeah. Well, I like them, but they're just, they could have been better. So, yeah. Seth, what's our next movie talk? Uh, well, can you, hey, that's what we're doing, guys. Next. And another thing? Seth? Listen to uh, the Child's Play theme, uh, like music. It's pretty fun. Especially one. Yeah. Anyway, so you guys know what you do to do. Put your comment down on this awesome movie known as Cat in the Hat with Mike Myers. And we'll see y'all later. Bye. When we do our second Halloween special this year. And...